China and Korea are dropping and then Vasago are gaslighting these monkeys showing up, giving them a reason to care for this world, saying, these filthy Japanese hackers gave you shitty gear. You better fight against them. I guess his speech was good enough and now they're all rallying. It's looking really bad for us on every front right now, truly. But hey, this is a moment that Kirito should show up. But here's the thing, right? Kiga couldn't do the thing he needed to fill Kirito's uh, like ego with the backup images from the floodlights of, let's say, uh, Sugo and Shin, you know, who are using the STL pots. That was the goal. But, you know, Yenai got in there and Yenai was just the biggest Quinella sim. It's actually hilarious the more I think about it. I genuinely do love how um, right now all the themes are even like relating back to the previous season. Even Shino's like plot armor. That was Kirito's, you know, GGO plot armor, right? Anytime, you know, different people show up like uh, Basago, Death Gun theme starts playing. Leifa starts fighting. ALO soundtrack. Aerial battle starts playing. I love how they're tying in the previous seasons with the story of right now. It's beautiful. But hey, Kirito needs to wake up and who's going to do it? If Higa can't do it. And if we use the same logic of having people... Like, it seems like STL pod users, and if they have, like, a backup image of Kirito in their Flucklight, then it should be able to instill some sort of response from Kirito. So I'm hoping that whatever Vasa goes about to do will, like, bring back Kirito. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see how this works. Now, apparently, there was a bit of a scene I missed last episode. The post credit scene last episode, there's a little bit more. So, hey, let's begin today's reaction. What the fuck is this? SAO. That's, that's it? It just says SAO on the pod, which is pretty unique, right? Never seen a... What is this? Is, is, is this the area from, like, ordinal scale shit? I, I can't remember, but it, it just says SAO. And I don't think this is where any of our characters are currently in. Is Kaiba about to do something? Is this Kaiba Link start? I, I don't fucking know what's going on here, but hey, that's the co scene that I missed last time. Let's go to the next episode. <laughs> yeah, that's SAO pun. <laughs> old SAO server, who's showing up? <laughs> who's in the old SAO server? The only person that can really think about is like Kaiba, because everyone fucking went out and Kaiba's just chilling around in the digital space. Old SAO server. But everyone linked out. No one's in the server, right? SAO project has been abandoned. Kaiba logged everyone out. It should only be Kaiba. I don't know. Prince of Hell. The Prince of Hell. Does it relate to anybody we know? Is Prince of Hell the one person from SAO servers coming back in? Like, episode 14, what happened? Kaiba showed us the whole secret. Everything was falling apart. Kaiba literally logged everyone out. That's the old SAO server. And then AOLO was a thing, independent from SAO. I don't know, but hey, Roni's about to... Oh no. <laughs> please, don't do anything bad to Roni, please. Roni and TSA again just exist to be sexually assaulted. Please leave Roni alone. Not Roni! <laughs> yeah, that's nice though, he pushed the... He's pushed out of the way. It could have been way worse. It could have been way worse, but this is hilarious how he just doesn't even look at her. Just move. <laughs> Oi, you in there? Wake up! Could you imagine if Vasako called Agil this? I just want you to know. Because Black Swordsman, I know, but like Blackie is a crazy nickname, bro. You're not even there anymore, bro. What's, what's Vasago gonna do? Say, like, I will kill every one of your friends one by one until you wake up? Good morning! Hey! Stand up! Good morning! <laughs> it's just fucked up, but it's somehow hilarious. <laughs> oh, not like this, man! This is what we should do to Rachel, by the way, in Tower of God. Just straight up just fucking push that bitch on the ground out of her when you wheelchair. What's <laughs> 
Yeah. No longer black swordsman, he's the black vegetable. <gasps> Yuji-o! <laughs> Giga Klein, Giga Klein. Remember, they can feel everything right now. They can feel all the pain. Oh! Uh, who's it gonna be? Uh, uh, it's gonna be that guy. So, last episode, we saw a bit of his hair, right? Last episode, I saw the guy's hair, but nothing else. I'm gonna guess that is um, the, the power suit dude from Ordinal Scale. It is him. It's a different animation. I couldn't tell ALO model to okay. So it is Ordinal Scale Guy. Who is Dark Yui though? Where did Dark Yui come from? I get AG, but Dark Yui? <laughs> Wait, think, think about us for a second. Ordinal Scale, he always had some sort of guide. No, the guide was the daughter of the dude who was doing the whole project to get the daughter, but no, 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 no. How does Dark Yui exist? It's kind of racist. He's been calling Blackie dirty Japanese. Jesus, Vasago, man, chill the fuck out. Yo, he can buff? His dark aura literally buffs his army? Okay. No! It was not Dark Yui, so it was the daughter. I thought it really, literally looked like Yui. No, 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 no. So this is the girl. I forgot her name. Yuki? Yuna. Yuna, right? And this was the daughter. Well, the model was made after the daughter who passed away a long time ago, right? And the Yuna was also in SAO before, right? Yeah, Yuna and AG were in SAO. Yuna died. AG was a pussy, couldn't do anything. Uh, Yuna's actual dad then went on to, you know, do the whole, uh, atmosphere shit. I, f I forget exactly the, the, the different, you know, of, uh, not VR, AR, like AR, right? Like, exactly. Ogma, Ogma is the word. Real Yuna? Yo, is she gonna sing? Yuna, let's go. Are you serious? They don't know her? <laughs> the power of a VR fucking idol right now? <laughs> the song buff? Yeah, it does. Holy shit, that's a lot of buff. What the fuck? How many different buffs are here? Man? Let's go, AG. Yeah, they've been purified. <laughs> the slow motion reaction. Vasago keeping up with the buffs, though. Yeah. KOB! That was the lore! Remember, he was part of KOB. He saw Asuna always be such a Giga Chad, but he was like, you know, a coward because he didn't want to die. It's actually crazy. Even Ordinal Scale is being related into it. Like, this is truly just like the true endgame. Like, everything SAO has been built up to just all coming together, even the fucking movie. <laughs> Oh my god! Yo, the mental image! The mental image now! The mental image... Shouldn't this make him weaker? 
how does that work, right? Because because uh, like it's the, the mental image is the confidence you're brought up by, right? Kirito Black Swordsman, he was a Giga Chad, but like Nautilus in lore was a pussy. So him being a mental image, Nautilus right now it's it's cool. Logically, it should be weaker, but I hope it's it, I hope it's OP. This is pretty much his redemption. OP, I don't care. There's the real Yuna, right? I'm different! Forgive! Yep. Okay, okay! They fucking cliffhanger me there. What is this? Wait! Vasago backstory. Oh shit. I, it, it, it depends. Sometimes backstories like this means that Vasago is about to win. You know, like like some like it, it really depends. But like in this situation where the guy is losing, then he has a backstory. I feel like Vasago is gonna make a comeback after this. So a long time ago, he had a surgery. Family? Maybe dad? I don't know. I don't think that's Kirito, no. <laughs> cliffhanger again! <laughs> what the fuck? First cliffhanger. Little backstory, which is so obscure. It's just like Vasago in a fucking surgical bed. And then there's like these two dudes. Presumably dad and brother. Who knows why he's so mad. And then return. Another fucking cliffhanger. And then we're back into intermission. And we're back. We got the better of each other. No, AG! Heal Stacia, heal both arms? Both arms. That's the flashback buff, bro. In that situation, in that situation, bro, when he has the backstory, yeah, it made sense. Oh, racist, bro. His desire was stronger, man. More blush. <laughs> what the fuck are these cliffhangers, bro? But I mean, at the end of the day, right? The whole battle system is who has more desire, right? Who has more confidence? Vasago's desire of hatred from his stemming from his backstory is stronger than Eiji's desire to win here. All right, San Francisco, California, 2015. Shitty mom. Devil spawn? Bitch, you're the one that gave birth to me. I don't fucking ask to be born. Blame yourself, ho. Deadbeat dad showed up out of nowhere. Let me guess. The deadbeat dad is Japanese. And that's why he hates Japanese. That's fucked up. Deadbeat dad ditched him after knocking up Vasago's mom. His half brother now needs a surgery for the kidney. That surgical operation. So that's the incentive. Now he's saying, "Here's some money for your mom and you. Give me your kidneys." Damn, they suck. Don't eat it yourself. Okay. That mom, a bitch. I'm running away, bro. <laughs> you think I'm gonna give a kidney for a mom that doesn't give a fuck about me? I'm leaving. And the kidney's out. Yep, dad and the half brother. I mean, the whole Japanese race is a bit too much, but like, you know, it's like his half brother, it's his family. Alright, seven years later. I wanted to know like the lore of his tattoo of how he got that in the backstory, but he already has it. Nerf gear. Oh dude, he So like 
this dude intentionally went in. When everyone was like, oh, let's say it was so cool, let's link start, link start, everyone link started, and it was like, okay, that's it. And it was like, okay, this is fucked up, people are dying. And Vasco was like, I'm in. Yep, I'm gonna find the nerf gear from the black market, and I will fucking go in. <laughs> the black market. <laughs> <laughs> Just random port bros running over with a fresh new fucking minted box with a nerf gear. All right, he got it. Somehow he got it from the black market. <laughs> All right. Tunneling start, baby. And I wonder what his name POH stands for. Devil Spawn. Oh! That's the title drop! Prince of Hell! Poo! Oh, shit! That's an edgy ass fucking name, but there it is. That's the actual acronym. Yeah, I mean, Prince of Hell is a bit too edgy, right? You don't want to be going around saying Prince of Hell, Prince of Hell, but Poo. You know, it's a little cute, but uh, Poo. Link start, baby. <laughs> Crazy. It's not even like just about like. Killing as killing Japanese specifically because of his hatred for Japanese due to the dad and the shitty half brother. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everything. I, I thought it was just about the killing, but no, 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 no. It was specifically to kill Japanese, bro. <laughs> I mean, you should just go kill the dad and the half brother. Yeah, you sh you should go commit a crime. You should go and kill the... Because, like, the other Japanese people didn't do this to you, you know? Like, you want to actually get revenge? You should fucking take the kidney back, bro. <laughs> Literally kill the dad and they have to take the kidney back, bro. What did the SAO people do to you? This is kind of brain dead, but all right, whatever. <laughs> But the- Oh my god, the teeth are coming up from AG! But the saddest thing and the most ironic thing is... Poo is part Japanese. You know? Poo is literally part Japanese. You hate yourself too, my man. What is it? Oh, the real Yuna! Wait, Yuna mental image. Yuna mental image. Now, the earlier signals from the SAO pod, the old server, is not hinting at these two, right? I refuse to believe that the real secret of the old SAO server lighting up a bit are these two. I refuse to believe it. AG was a hero. They bought us some time. It's unfortunate, but hey, they bought us some time. Death Gun soundtrack back. My God. Moonface, no laughing coffin? <laughs> Yo, they no laughing coffin? <laughs> oh shit, they're popular. <laughs> Look at that aura, man. Prince of Hell aura. <laughs> Why the fuck did Yuna disappear? AG died. Sure. Yuna, you didn't take no goddamn damage. Bitch, you should be here singing your ass off so they don't get fucking buff debuff like this. Oh, everyone's turning on each other! He's a prince of hell! He will wake up soon. We know what's gonna happen. How is it gonna happen though? Oh my god, dude. They are really, really stalling with Kirito awakening scene. I cannot wait. It's gonna be such a heroic moment. Okay, GGO battle. Oh, the bullet to bullet. I love that shit in GGO, bro. I love that shit. The slow time bullets, you know, going against each other. I feel like that was weird. 
ワンマガジンで7発これが7発でバレット XM500 の相談数は10 oh, This is no 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 his enemy is a gun right? つまりあと2発 That's a leg gun シノノ you serious? ごめんね Don't give up? ごめんねキリト l e a f a literally didn't even get a chance to pop off. She showed up to help the orcs for a bit, and now we just see her necks already stabbed, bro. Really, just l e a f a bro. They hate l e a f a Sick, sick. Okay. Can you reattach that? You got crazy auto heal. Yeah, she can. <laughs> Terraria, bro. This is crazy, bro. The auto heal is fucking crazy, man. Yeah, that means you're gonna get unlimited suffering as well. <laughs> Again, like, she can't fucking die, I guess, right? So she's just gonna continue to regen and suffer more and more. Again, the author hates Leafa. <laughs> I will fight on! Champion and Shaita here too, right? That's right, that's right. Yo, that reminds me of the sword attack I saw when, like, uh, no, it's a little bit different. It was the attack shot at, like, Chudokin's golem shit. Like, he did to go like this, but cool attack. And you know what's more sad? Sugu getting graped had more budget put into this attack. Because I guess they did a Hail Mary gamble. They saw, well, shit. Goblin Slayer, episode one. Goblin backshots made it go viral, you know? Every time you have a controversial moment like that, it goes viral. So fuck it. Let's just get Sugu graped in, like, infinite budget animation to start the season to see if people are going to start watching again. I bet you that was their fucking idea. <laughs> Ferrari account though, it's living up to the god account hype. Solus is a little bit of an L right now, man. Oh! <laughs> Why? Why is there any need to do this to her? Oh my god! That's crazy! Shinono's plot armor will no longer be able to help. Wait. Plot armor? Never mind. The plot armor's kicking in again. Fuck it. Never mind. The plot armor's literally working. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Mental image. Mental image bullet. Fuck it. Just shoot. Who cares? Oh, it's a soulless bullet. <laughs> yeah. How? How did you tank that, dude? It did a lot of damage. Bro literally looks like Toby now. <laughs> Naruto looking ass. No, it's the other guy. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's the other dude from a uh, fucking uh, Avatar, right? This guy with like a burnt face, right? <laughs> they finally got an opportunity for Shinon to be on the ground to show her ass, cause like you notice that when she was floating, she has to like instead of standing like this, she starts to do more of this. But every time in GGO, they would always you know make sure that Shinon's like lying down to snipe. But here it is. Here's the GGO ass. What? <laughs> Mr. Miller said, "Fuck it. Your soul will not be sweet. I'm gonna go after Alice. Bye." Okay. <laughs> I cannot believe it saved her for a second time. 
What the fuck? The first time I get it. For a second, that is shameless. This plot armor is shameless. Higa and Yanai? Quinella number one simp? Rinka? <laughs> Rinko! Rinko dropped the fucking wrist! Dude, if that hit, he would have been dead! Oh, well, that's it. That, that's, that's... That's it? He just dies from fall damage? I thought Higa would get a chance to like get to disarm him and shit, but all right, that's that's the end of Yanai, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> could you could you imagine if that wrench literally fucking just hit Yanai and it just like cut him down in the middle? <laughs> Let's go, Rinko. <laughs> yeah, on the arm. He good. He good. Pull a scratch, but. ボクの計測しますいや、その、Let's go, he got <laughs> I'm not sure Rinko accepted that as a good date, but hey, fuck it, it's it's baby steps. <laughs> okay, here we go. STLs. Man, I, I really thought that like Vasago would have been the one to wake up Kirito in like a very ironic way, but all right, we got the original strat going. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? All their backup image and shit. Yeah, that was the blood loss going. And now to Kirito. Wakey, wakey. Ohio. We have a bit of the episode left. Craziest cliffhanger incoming. Kiritsu about to wake up. And then a cliffhanger. Let's see it. Oh, she's glowing. Leafa gonna glow. Shinonon glow too. Blue Rose, Yu-Gi-Oh! yu gi -Oh also glowing. He was always in there. We knew he was always in there. He became one with the sword. He was even being a little bit sus with Eldriot too, remember before? Oh god, Yu-Gi-Oh right, in there as well. How much do you think that they paid Yu-Gi-Oh for this? 25 fucking episode season. Yu-Gi-Oh has one line. Do you think he got paid the same as everyone else? Do you think he got paid more than anyone else? Could you imagine? I don't know, because Yuji was an important character. I could see that. More than Eagle, that's for sure. Oh. Basically, this is like the purgatory, right? No, no, no. This, no, no. this is basically purgatory. This is like when Toto Aoi has like a schizo delusion and is like talking to his fucking idol in like a classroom. This is like a different domain, like a purgatory. Like his consciousness is in here and he's about to fucking realize some shit and then go back it. But that's the episode, man. He's not. I, I thought it'd be a way worse cliffhanger than this. I thought like literally his eyes would like twitch and start to be gold and then cliffhanger. But hey, that's the episode, man. Is there a post credit scene? There is not. Today's episode, Prince of Hell, Poo, Prince of Hell. I was always wondering, what the fuck is Poo, bro? It's like a, like a teddy bear name, like a Poo bear, but no, it was Prince of Hell, acronym. Vasago's hatred for Japanese is kind of stupid because like the hatred stems from his dad and the half-brother. 
I mean, the half brother had no say in this. The half, I, I mean, the sorry, yeah. And then the dad was a piece of shit. Like, you should go after the dad and the half brother, bro. Straight up. If I was Vasago, my first inclination wouldn't to be to fucking go try to kill random Japanese gamers in SAO. I'd track this motherfucker down, kill him, and then take his kidney, bro. That's how I would be doing. But that's where the racism comes from. I think Black Key is also just fucking out of nowhere. And AG, bro. I think that AG Yuna, this shit was sick. Obviously, Vasago won. But, you know, it, it, when everything is, like, hopeless, we're like, oh, my God, who's going to show up? AG and Yuna from Ordinal Scale. It wasn't just about Wrath Revelation at the end that was important for Season 3 and 4. No. AG and Yuna literally showed up. If we didn't watch the movie, we would have no clue who these characters are. So I'm very glad that we watched that movie. They were fucking fantastic. Yuna singing along and everyone being like, Oh my god, it's Yuna Tan. This must be Japanese server. But Vasago's dark aura is able to just like override everyone's emotions. Sugu has some crazy animations. He was fighting hard. It was kind of fucked up <laughs> what they did to her and even today, but hey, it is what it is, you know? Bitch got carried by the same plot armor twice. I don't know how to feel about that, but hey, it is what it is, and that's pretty much it, right? He goes back. The laptop shit happens. Now, Kirito's about to wake up after having a fucking schizo conversation with Yuji in this classroom. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.